we will solve irado problem 160 chapter 1 in this problem there is a pulley which supports a man who is on the ladder and this ladder and man combination is balanced by counterweight which is m since it is balanced it means this mass m and this mass m has to be equal mass of man is m therefore ladder will be m minus m this is the first thing which is not given in the question we have to discover it let us take a reference system this and find out what is the center of mass of the system let this be at the distance x1 let the ladder center of mass be at the distance x2 and let the mass let the man be at the distance x3 from this reference we have to find out how by how much the center of mass of the system will shift when the man moves a distance l dash on the ladder now let us first find out what is the center of mass initially we know that to find center of mass of any system let us take this example briefly let this be m1 m2 m3 and we want center of mass in terms of x coordinates this is x1 this is x2 and this is x3 so the center of mass is always equal to m1 times x x1 plus m2 times x2 plus m3 times x3 upon m1 plus m2 plus m3 similarly we can find y center of mass if you want in two coordinates that's just about the center of mass now in this case what is the initial center of mass x center of mass initial would be equal to m times x1 plus ladder mass is m minus 1 into x2 m minus m into x2 plus men mass is m and x3 upon what is the total mass m plus m minus m plus m it is twice m now when the man moves a distance l dash on the ladder let us presume that this moves upwards by distance x0 it means if it moves upwards this system the ladder has to move downwards by x0 because string length is constant so it will come down by x0 so the displacement of man in absolute frame would be l dash minus x0 l dash has moved on the ladder but ladder itself has come down by x0 so his movement in absolute frame is l dash minus x0 so what are the new coordinates here it is x1 plus x0 here it is x2 minus x0 for the ladder and here it is x3 plus this now let us find the center of mass on new coordinates x center of mass new would be equal to m x1 plus x0 plus m minus m x2 minus x0 and plus small m times l dash x3 plus l dash minus x0 upon total mass is same m so here you get m x1 plus m x0 plus m minus m x2 minus m x0 plus 
एम एक्स जीरो प्लस एम एल थ्री प्लस एम सॉरी एम एक्स थ्री प्लस एम एल डैश दिस इज एक्स थ्री माइनस एम एक्स जीरो अपॉन टू एम नाउ लेट अस सी विच ऑल गेट कैंसल्ड दिस गेट्स कैंसल्ड दिस गेट्स कैंसल्ड दिस गेट्स कैंसल्ड so it becomes m x 1 plus m minus m x 2 plus m x 3 plus m l dash upon twice m is the center of mass new what is this this is the initial center of mass so x center of mass new is equal to x center of mass initial plus m l dash upon twice m so this is the value by which the center of mass has moved upwards it has moved towards the center of pulley and this is the answer thank you